Okay, guys, we are on the last week and the last part of the never-ending Christmas card. I know it's never-ending, but we're ending. <laughs> we only have the last little bit to go. Isn't that exciting? All right, let's take a look at our... Well, I don't really need the chipboard just, or the cardstock just yet. I need to take a look at all of our other pieces... Some of that cardstock I'm not going to be using just because of the little pieces. So let's go ahead and take all of, punch all of our stuff out again. Just so we have a little bit more of an idea of what we have. Looks like this one was cut properly. I am glad for that. It didn't look too bad last time, but... I'd rather have one that was cut right. <laughs> and then our sentiments, which we have all of our sentiments this time. We didn't have to steal any from this one. And we have quite a few designs for paper left. We have so many options. What I am thinking, though, oh, I forgot about this paper. Oh, oh, gosh, this is gonna be tough. You know, this one would look really good on this little purpley paper that we have from the actual kit. So let's make our base out of this. We'll make some little note cards. Get my bone folder from the kit. And I, I don't think I'm going to add a chipboard except for the sentiments on there. Just because I enjoy that paper so much. Oh, I know. We'll use that other purple that we have. See, I've got a few little purple tidbits. Oh, the purple almost slipped out from under my radar. Almost. <laughs> and then we have that. So we'll see what we can do with these. It's a three or is it a six? No, it's an eight by eight. Why am I blanking on the size of this paper? <laughs> so let's see what our cardstock comes out to be. I think it's four by four. Yeah. So we want let's do three and a half by three and a half. Give us a nice little border. And then that'll give us a little bit of extra, an extra strip to use somewhere else. But that'll only be four cards. Oh, I didn't cut it <laughs> this way. It's going the right way. Three and a half. We might use those bits. I don't know. They are really tiny. <laughs> Get our tape gun here. One, two, three, four. You know what? Let's just move some of these out of the way. So we've actually got room to work. 
I don't know why I do that to myself all the time. Got to be careful because this is really thin paper. I don't want to rip them. Should get my little paper in or out. I don't know where I put it though. I'm just losing my tape runners. <laughs> okay, one left for tape. Um, I actually think I want it to be like a top fold. Oh no! Come on! Don't rip on me. There. I don't know why. It... Well, that's no, okay. <laughs> this thin stuff is so persnickety. Move that up a smidge for you. The other ones are going on nice. Why was the other one a butt? <laughs> oh, these are so cute. And with that extra purple, I think it'll look good. So I have three pieces here. Trying to decide how I want to do it. Actually, I could cut this in half. And that'll give me an extra piece. Well, this is one inch, so let's cut it down to half an inch. And there's an extra. So that's one, two. Three, four. And I'll have to snip off the extra, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that. I'm just going to make it go straight across. Scissors. <laughs> Keep losing things. It's all this extra cardstock from what we've made. It's just laying here and it keeps getting getting me all mixed up. And we've got a thicker piece here. A few thicker pieces. And then two more thin. A little bit of a variant. Come on. I'm doing an assembly line this time. I wanted to, I could do it on the bottom too. It would still look okay. But there's something about the sentiment just being in the center and kind of, oh, did I, I cut an extra piece, I guess. See, I'll do this one down here. I didn't even realize I cut an extra piece. <laughs> so one of them is going to be different. I should have been a little bit more paying attention, I guess. All right, now our chipboard sentiments. One, two, three, four. I think I want this one on here. So just a little. Ooh, so cute. Actually, that one might look good. Sorry, I'm out of. Actually, the with love, I think, is what I want to do down there. Just like that. Oh, that looks so good. 
so many shades of purple. <laughs> I actually know the perfect person to give the, this set to. Because she is in love with purple. If I don't use it myself. <laughs> oh, so cute. It's almost like a um, like little jewel on the purse or something like that. Super cute. Alright, so now, where do I put these? <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to these two papers because I don't think I'll need the extra... I think I want to use the chipboard on these papers and leave this one all on its own. Make its own card or something. So now I've got to decide. I've got so much extra paper. I've got quite a few cardstock pieces left from the kit. I really don't like the shade on that though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to end up using those greens. <laughs> I am just not liking those colors with that color scheme. That looks pretty good. I can do a card with that. Whatever size this is, <laughs> I'm just going to make that into a card. Make this into a card. I love irregular sized cards. They're just so fun. <laughs> it's like a challenge on its own. Okay. Oh, you know what? That... This would look really good. Ooh. Okay. We're on to an idea with this. Hmm. How would this look better? Actually, no, I think just. Oh, no, that's not going to look very good. I'm so picky. <laughs> that kind of looks cool. Ooh, let's do that. Okay. I don't even know what size this is. I should probably measure it. <laughs> so I at least have some kind of three and a half by five and a half. So let's do three and actually let's do just three. Well that's gonna cut that off weird. Let's cut it in half at four. And then cut it in half at four again. Or no, I'm going to need it at three. Just because of the size of it. You know what would be kind of fun? If I did kind of like a Z fold. Just kind of guessing here. So I need it to be just a smidge longer. That'll work. And then I need to put it on a backer. We could do this. Oops. 
And I think I might want to do it on the white part. Not a huge fan of that color with this paper. I'll just give that a trim. That looks so good. Okay. So now we're going to want to put some tape down in our fold here. And then our little chipboard. We're only going to do half tape. Line it up. That's a little over too much. And that'll do. So you're going to have a little hidden message behind there. And then it's kind of hard to show. <laughs> oh. Kind of wondering if I should do a little bit extra. No, I like it as it is. That looks so cool. Wow, I love that. That is neat. Oh, I was finding where I put the rest of them. Okay, so let's cut some more card bases. Let's do... Uh, four and a quarter. We'll do some top down. Go ahead and score it here. This cardstock is so creamy. I love it. Now let's work with this paper. Shouldn't have put my thing away. So we want four by five and a quarter. And then there's an extra piece. And then we want to do this piece here. Let's do, actually four will work. Yeah, let's do four inches. Cutting everything in fours. <laughs> and where did my, that'll be good for right now. Because I want to put what I just cut onto these. Oh, right, because it's four by four. Well, actually, I could back it on this. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's do that. I am thinking. <laughs> My brain is a going today, which is good. And we want our other piece here. We're gonna overlap just as smooth, I think.
Maybe I'll cut this one first. I think I made my edges a little bit too big. Yeah, I can't really edge that one. That's okay though. It'll still look fine. Put our mat down. Ah. here our interest not our focal point but and then let's get a chipboard that one will look awesome right in the center. Oh, so cool. Let's do this one. We're going to do two normal cards. <laughs> oh, excuse me, a hiccup. And then we have our image there. Kind of like that one. Actually, I'm not going to even add a chipboard to that because I really like that just as is. Maybe if I had another sentiment, I would put it there, but I think that's a pretty good one on its own. Let's do one of these. Oh, actually, I already have a white one done. Oh, you know what? We have a bunch of these that we can use. Just, oh yeah, that looks good, right? As is. Center there with this little guy. Ooh, looks so good. And then for this one, let's go ahead and do an eagle card. I'm gonna put it in half and then open it up, fold it in half again. And instead of It's not going to fold quite right because it's going to be a little bit bigger. Oops. The note part is going to be bigger than the, <laughs> or the image is going to be bigger than the note part.
and then I'm going to just put tape down on there so I don't have to kind of guess. So it's a smidge bigger, but it works very nicely. And then we'll need a little bit debating do I want to use one of these little extras? That looks good. That makes such a good easel card. Just that image. And then we could do it a sentiment or something, but I think it looks good on its own. So let's see what, we don't have very much paper left. We have this piece these pieces, this piece of chipboard, and these snowflakes. Ah! And a random piece of trash. Ugh. And then I have extra little bits of cardstock left over, but I don't think we're going to end up using them. Unless we did some bookmarks. Meh. I'm sure these two would be perfect size for bookmarks. I don't think we're going to use any of the others. To be honest. Yeah, I know. So let's go ahead and make that would be kind of oh no debating what I want to do I got some cream well, actually that's more yellow Ooh. let's just grab a purple to go with that snowflake Scrap the bookmark idea. Oh, and let's just make some note cards out of this oddly shaped <laughs> L. So let's do three. So it'll be six inches. Get on my fingers by three, three, and then we'll cut two and a half. We need we need two of those, right? Yep by two and a half. Ah. And then we'll do, well actually let's just do this funky card. That'll be, what is that? Five inches. Let's just cut this piece at three and a half. And let's see how that comes out. <laughs> Surprises! <laughs> oh, I need to hold my bases first. Biggin. Okay. 
and then we can work on our tape. All the way to the edge. And I'll have a little bit of an overhang that I can cut off. And then have it stuck to everything. <laughs> Do our note cards here. If we had our, some more sentiments, that would work good. And then I can add an extra dimen or extra layer there. Could do it that way, but I think it'll look good this way with our chipboard. Yep. Running this way. That looks good. And I'm gonna say that's pretty good because I'm all out of cardstock. I only have a few little papers left. I could stick them on the insides of things. I might go ahead and go back and do that. But there it is. Our cards for our last part of the never-ending car Christmas card kit. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I did, and I think the cards, all of them turned out really good. Well, some of them weren't cards, but, <laughs> you know, the bookmarks and whatnot. This one we got a little funky with our folds. <laughs> We started off basic, but then we went, whoop. <laughs> but there we are, guys. I am so thankful for you guys for sticking around and watching this. I know it, you know, these videos tend to get kind of long, but it's so packed full of cards. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a safe holiday um, if you're celebrating. It is. Oh, never mind. It's <laughs> it's not the holiday anymore. <laughs> you know where my night goes. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you're having a crazy day. Not too crazy. Good crazy. Not bad crazy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.